I am. A few minutes early, but uh, I had to delay a little bit. I was always rushing for my class to get here for one o'clock, so it gives me a bit more time. Okay, um, one of my favourites today, charcoal and acrylic. Uh, I, hope, I think it's one of uh, your favourites as well, some of you, who enjoy doing it. And uh, we've got this lovely picture of this very sunny-faced girl that we're going to uh, create using charcoal. I'm going to give it a, a, a coat of uh, acrylic glaze and um, we're using gesso paper naturally. The most important thing is the gesso paper. All right. Uh, because you wouldn't be able to rub out the lights otherwise. So um, I'm going to cover the whole picture. It doesn't matter if there's anybody there or not today. But it's getting taped. We're going online. Uh, <coughs> it's getting saved. So yeah, nice interesting picture. I think I'll just do the centre portion just to get, save a bit of time as well. So I'm not doing the whole... Um, piece of paper because the the light is actually a kind of in the center right where the dirt and the lights are so I can use my negative background as part of the picture as well which uh, should make it a bit more interesting and then we'll use some color for uh, for glazing um, just looking for a big stick uh, so right straight away we're we'll going to this lovely dark area which is in the centre of our picture and um, you can have it down to the bottom of the painting if you like but uh, we just want that lovely kind of mid-tone value uh, you can do it with your fingers or you can do it with a tissue and tear it up to you just rub it in to give you a gesso give you the lines of your gesso which are brush marks Okay, and this is willow charcoal, don't forget, don't use compressed. And you'll end up with a, something completely different and very hard to remove. Okay, so we've got this lovely tonal value. Uh, I can add a bit more dirt in places. It's tactile stuff, charcoal, so the more you press on, the darker you go. Yeah, uh, the less you press on when you blend it. The darker it stays, yeah. So uh, just learn how to uh, how to judge it, really. What you're putting on, what you're taking off. All right. So from that, I'm going to just sketch the head. Now to really do it the same way. I'm going to central position, more or less. Uh, similar on both sides. So we want to get her chin on, and we want to get the top of the head on, which is up here. And this one's inside that. Uh, that area of the of the canvas of your format of your paper, so it's easier to to just draw the shape like that. of an egg. All right. Uh, if she was looking at me, straight line that way and straight line that way, which is halfway. Okay, both halfway. But she's not. She's kind of looking slightly to the right. Okay, so this line becomes a curve, and if I do a line through her eyes, they're more or less on level, so I'm going to keep them level, okay, because if it's slightly out, it doesn't matter, but if you, you know, you make it a lot more difficult for yourself by moving the eyes about, but uh, we've got a slight turn of her head, that's the main thing, I can see more of this side of her face and less of that. The nose is approximately halfway between the eyes and your chin, and then the mouth approximately halfway. Uh, so we actually put those in. Now because she's looking at me, the pupil is not in the middle because she looks straight ahead, but she's looking to the left. So there we put the pupil, then we put the top eyelid in where you can see the half moon shape of her eye. Okay, and the eyelid covers the top eye of the iris slightly and we've got the same thing happening here that's the middle uh, this is the left of center portion of the iris which is quite dark and again we get that lovely uh, dark line inside the eye 
because that's where the shadow is going to be as well inside the eye we'll blend that later we've got the tip of the nose which is actually just off center from a line drop down from the tear duct on this eye so we can get rid of that actually and we don't want it to have any bags so you can get rid of the bags now if you're used to it just overlap the top eyelid because it overlaps the bottom one don't put a line in because it you keep that um, that nice um, highlight on top of the eyelid which you can actually see because the sun's coming down from above but we've got a line down here that's the nostril and the tip of the nose is slightly to the right of that nose to the left of that nostril then we get this wedge shape which is something like that okay and that's where you, you're going to get the shape of the nostril on this side which is going to be near the tear duct like that uh, straight again a straight line down but the tip of the nose is just left right of center okay so anything over here now is quite dark so we can blend that in and the eye and then the eyebrow sits in that space just above the eyelid and then this is quite a dark shape like that. so we want to keep the shape of the eyebrow like that and the shape of the of the nose like that and it might be off center a little too much that so the lights in the middle and then we get a bit more dark here like this so just keep the nose just to left center okay and we've also got a lovely angle and from here we've got the nostril and we've also got a bit of a nostril there but the light is coming from the right and that's giving us our really strong shadow like that so we can put that in okay and then we filter them is underneath the nostril so it's in the middle of the nostril of the nose we've got that lovely kind of u-shape and the distance between the, that and the top lip okay and i'll put that line in that's approximately where it's going to sit and then we've got that lovely curve uh, so i might take that a little bit lower actually um, to about here nearer to the mouth and then the, the curve of the lip that's it would be on because um, we've got some nice cupid's bow there it looks like a seagull actually uh, nice and dark in the middle the mouth slightly open so it's up to you if you want to keep it open or not it's giving you that lovely two muscle shape and then you're getting a shadow here as well which goes into the lip and it also goes at the side of the mouth to the jaw and everything yeah so directional light is the main thing and then we get to the chin so when we get to the chin we need to keep that distance there between the shadow and the bottom of the chin okay then we look at the jaw and because she's going around the corner we've got straight line here uh, to get to Rembrandt's triangle which is this shape here which is about right okay i'll just block that in <coughs> um keep the shadow under the chin as well because that's giving you this lovely uh dark shape which we can blend in okay uh, blend it all as one so it's quite a nice interesting tone because the neck is going to be there isn't it uh here we've got the hair and the hair is always on top of the egg so we get to the center of the forehead uh, this is the shape of her uh, and then the hair up here like that uh, in fact it's a bit lower down than that actually and we're getting that nice dark shape uh, same over here um, angle like that uh, this bum if you want to put it in top of the head like that. and then that blends into the rest of the face the rest of the shadows on the face and this gives you this nice angle from where the hair is parted okay um, keep this eye covered by darkness like i said keep it um, don't go too big with it going a bit too big there so it needs to look straight at me okay they're both about the same size but he is looking at me and we've got a nice shadow here 
and then we got the cheek. So it's, it's you get all this kind of tone uh, within the the darkness of that um, the features. Uh, the eye, the ear is quite interesting. That would be a straight line. It's just protruding a little bit, and then the bottom of the nose is a bit higher than the bottom of the nose. So you get this shape like that, which is nice and dark as well. So that could be a nice dark shape. We can use the um, the light. So this is coming down and it's curving in, something like that. Yeah, uh, and then going off the picture. Like this. So it's quite an interesting shape. And then we've also got the neck. And we've got the, the, the angle. So that's the corner of the mouth, there, which is quite dark. And we've got a line down. And then you're getting the start of... Uh, start of um, the neck. So again, we'll keep it thin rather than too thick. Keep the neck nice and thin, uh, it comes down and then it goes across and then it goes off the picture. Do you want to put it in? Okay, and then we could just remove some uh, charcoal just to create the features. Yeah? And that lovely light on the nose and wherever. Yeah. And you can just see the nostril within that shadow and you've got a nice shape there as well which is uh, the shape of the nose because it's quite harsh here where you get in that uh, angle uh, we're just seeing the eye lid catching the light as well and you can see the eyelid here it's quite high and then it goes lower uh, you get reflected light anyway we'll use the rubber for that so this comes around goes in out and then just like that. So I think this needs to go further inwards to give a, a thinner, thinner neck. That's better. Okay, that's better. Okay, so now we can use um, some tissue or damp dry cloth. Doesn't really matter what. Uh, just to take off the excess uh, pigment. Uh, char charcoal uh, like that, off her hair uh, which goes into the side of the forehead like that, above the eyes just like that then we get the centre of the nose which is something like there and the, side, the inside of that eye is quite light so it goes into the shadow of the eyebrow here and that eye Make some light there. Um, side of this face on this side, very light. Yeah, and you can see the distance there from the side of the head into the Rembrandt triangle shape, which is that. This is the cheekbone, all right, which you need to bring out. Uh, we're getting this filter on the shape under the nose of the top lip. Uh, we could do this one with with the, um, the rubber. Uh, the bottom lip's getting a little bit more light, like this, that way. Uh, the chin, especially in the middle, like that. Okay, um, take the highlight out of the eye, move it over if you need to. At this stage, you're sketching. When things are wrong, you move them. Okay. It's just positional, so that's all you're doing. Uh, things you need to move things, move it over. That's all you need to do. Then I get my rubber. Oh, I'll take the light off here, sorry. Just on her cheek. That's probably the right value, near enough, on the cheek. And just above the forehead there, you get that light area. Uh, not too light. Later over his side than that side. All right, and then we look at um, the highlights on the features. So we've got a lovely light in the centre of the forehead that goes down to the uh, 
just above the eyebrow. We can use the side of the rubber to blend it. You can use your finger. That's the main thing. Then we've got a lovely highlight centre of the nose, more or less. Okay, so that is the light on the forehead. And then inside the eye, like this, we've got this lovely light because we've got the top eyelid, which is catching a little bit, and the bottom eyelid, straight line. And then from the, you go into the cheek, so that leaves a little bit of dark under that eye, not a lot. Uh, and this comes around here as well, to give you the shape of the eye, and then the side of the head. So the negative space between the side of the head, the eyebrow, which is like that, and the, the forehead, you see? So this comes right down into the cheek area, like that. Then it goes lighter. So this blends in slightly. Uh, we get a bit more light here and then we get a lovely highlight on the tip of the nose, like that. That's it. And then we get some darks here. We had a real problem, one of my um, students doing a nose at the weekend. So I'm just doing the same thing again. Negative space, the background shape, the reflected light that actually bring out the shape of the nose. So here we've got this lovely light on that cheek. Okay, and then that goes into the top eyelid, which is a little bit thicker as it goes away from you. Okay, there's not a lot of light here. It's the side of her head. You can't see much. And uh, we can put the bottom eyelid in, just like that, and then the light catching the half moon shape in that eye same here see it's all about shapes isn't it and she's going to look to the left and uh, we've got this really nice curve of uh, the light on that cheek which is not that it's not that uh, that light actually so we're just do it slightly slightly lighten it a bit you got a bit of light on that no nostril, and then when you get to the nose, you got this lovely light underneath, which goes through to the philtrum. Like that. So your philtrum is a U shape, yeah, and that creates that really nice eye light on the top of the lip. Okay, <coughs> this one at the top of that lip. Uh, again, you got this really nice highlight. Coming down, going to the corner of the mouth, which blends in. Uh, so we've got a nice light there, gives you a bit of a crease in a in a nose. You've got some reflected light under the nostril. This is what I meant about the 3D effect. Uh, we can get rid of anything that's blending into the background. So it's kind of a lovely light area that disappears into the background but you can still see where the face is yeah and um, we'll just look at the light on the bottom lip which is like that <coughs> you got a lovely light in the corner of the mouth again we never put a line under the mouth and then the the chin like that uh, it goes a little bit darker and then we get some reflected light just under the chin, and then from here, you get the light on the neck. You see? So that gives this lovely straight line coming down. We can use the tissue actually, because I didn't. And then off the shoulder as well, keep that lovely softness. And that goes a little bit lighter, a little bit darker. So take the light off the shoulders, like this, and then that shoulder just coming away, so a little bit darker here, light and there, and then disappears into the background. And then we've got this light between the tendon and the neck, which comes down to the shoulder, uh, nice and light over this side as well, because that's a tendon as well. So 
get that shape. And then here we're going a little bit lighter. And it comes this way. And then over the shoulder. Okay, that's more or less the tonal value. I'm going to use the rubber to remove my negative background shape as well. Uh -huh. Which is the light or the mid tone value, not the light, at the back of her. Okay, which is like that. So just a little bit, so I've not left it too light, I just keep it mid tone. Okay, um, a bit of light here on that cheek. Like that. I want it to blend in nearly into the background tone. <coughs> I know she's got hair there and things, but. Uh, and the forehead. Yeah. And then over this side, just use my tissue again first. Get the excess charcoal off. That's quite a lot with that. And then I'm going to use this the rubber to take out the light at the back. But because this is dark, it makes the, the background look a lot lighter on this side. Yeah. You can actually see the reflected light on her cheek there as well, going into the forehead, you can see, things like that. Uh, so it's, it's a nice way of just creating a three dimension again. And then we've got this lovely dark, which is here. Always darker on the edge of something rather than uh, in the middle, okay? Uh, we've got a little bit on her ear, but we can do that later. If you want to, so like that. <laughs> and if you want to do some negative background, that's okay as well. Right, so this curve, this lovely curve, and then blend it. <coughs> blend it into the top of the shoulder and the rest of the background. <coughs> okay, that's more or less it. Uh, got a bit of dirt there, not like that, it's a bit of smudge. <coughs> Doesn't matter. <coughs> nice big smudge. So I'm going to um, use my rubber as well to take out some light on the iris, just at the bottom, because uh, that's where you can put the colour of the eye. Because that's where the light's going to catch it. Okay. <coughs> and the corner, I've got the corner bit. I've got this little bit underneath where the uh, bottom eyelid sits. And then we've got this shadow just underneath the cheekbone, which is about there, like that. So again, most of it's been done uh, with the rubber. And then all we need to do is follow it with the the damp cloth, you know, for the stages. Don't do it too, too uh, rough. Don't be too rough with it. All right, I'm going to get some compressed charcoal, which I should have some. Can I buy it? Pure black charcoal, this. Yeah. Uh, stand back, look at the drawing or the painting. What's that we're doing? Hmm. I got it's two o'clock, I thought I'd finish then. So I'm just gonna add some of the darker tones. So pupil, iris, top eyelid, really, because they're very dark, okay? And we bring this down, so we like that. Same with this nostril, and that little bit, corners of the mouth again, middle muscle, corners of the mouth, you know? So you get this little shape, like um, you can have a little bit of dark coming from that shape. We've got a lovely dark line inside that eye. And we do the same thing with the, uh, the other eye, iris, top eyelid, pupil, iris, top eyelid. Uh, don't put the eyebrows in, eyelashes in, whatever you do. Some people are dying to do it, I know. Put the tear duct in if you like, just to give you that little light area later. 
Um, I've got a nice shadow coming from here as well. So I'm just drawing a line, really. Because you've got hair and the, the darkness. So this lovely hair at the back of her head. And some coming out the sides. Like this. And we've got some coming out from behind that ear. You see? Things like that. Uh, we've got this bit as well, at the side of that uh, lovely shape, side of a, I could block that in actually, just to bring out that, and then the side of the cheek here, and then some things like that. Alright, nothing too fussy, could put the ear in if you like, keep it uh, simple. On the ways, right. and as long as she's looking in my direction or just over my shoulder, that's fine. Uh, put her hair in if you want, some darker tone. She's got that, she's got a shadow on the forehead of that hair hanging down, and she's also got this shadow as well. Uh, yeah of the hair. <coughs> Can't really see where the um, the jawline is. It's all one tone. So keep that blending in. Uh, uh, probably is a little bit narrower. Uh, it doesn't matter. Just keep that simple. <coughs> Alright. And then uh, this is the ear and this dark part. <laughs> Blend it just into the side, uh, side of her head. <coughs> this side of her is a bit darker. Uh, on the left hand side, just as it's coming through, like that, and we've got a glazer. Okay, so I'm going to spray it, give her a glaze, <coughs> and away we go. Okay. Really, really quick today. Spray, make sure you get everything. Make sure you get this compressed nearly because that will run like mad. <coughs> Just dry it off. I've got my hair drying, which is not, not unpacked it yet. Things move about so quickly in this room. Um, so, dry it off. Yeah. You're okay. So we could keep that um, lovely dark shape without it rubbing off, and that's what we want. So I've got my brush. I'm going to use Bert Sienna today. <laughs> keep it simple, this one. Um, you can carry on with these, like I've said before, they can be. I can rub out the light bits and everything, or the reflected lights, I should say. So I uh, get some water, pick up your sienna, and mix it with a lot of water. Okay, make sure it's thoroughly dry before you do anything with the wash. So I've got a nice wash, enough to cover the whole thing. That's what you want to make as well, and. Uh, <coughs> I'll go all the way down from the top <coughs> to the bottom in one wash, okay. And don't be frightened of putting it on. I'll try and get to the sides of your picture as well. Uh, I'll just run out, <laughs> telling you all that, and then I'll run out. Uh, all the way across. All the way down, 
over the shoulders if you want to. You can keep it away from um, the lungs. <coughs> runs away from the features so dry your brush off. I've got quite a bit of colour here so I'm just going to wash it off and it's a few runs in there so <coughs> <coughs> excuse me we don't want any runs in in her face because you're going to get lines so we just have this very soft tone okay so it's starting to run now so you just have to be careful that you don't start rubbing off uh, charcoal. Alright. And then we can dry that off and she'll appear as if by magic <coughs> in a bit. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'll use my hair dryer again. <coughs> okay, so I'm going to rub out the light bits just using a damp cloth. Uh, nothing too light at this stage, people were too light too soon. <coughs> and because it's dry, it's going to be uh, harder to remove. So that's what we want because we don't want it to be too easy because I need to control how much we take off don't we? like that so we can get the forehead in a nice light area and we get a patch in the middle which is quite flat like that <coughs> and then this goes a little bit darker a little bit lighter over the eyebrow you see like that on top of the forehead and then we go into shadow <coughs> <coughs> Swallowed something. <coughs> um, top of the forehead, uh, where it meets the hair, quite light. Get that little bit of highlight here. You can always draw that a bit of that hair again afterwards, it doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. Um, we've got some light on the hair as well, so that's where you kind of rub off in the direction of the light, you know. In a big, don't try and do every hair in the head, you'll never do it. We've got some reflected light here, so if we just take that out, <coughs> and that leads me to the lights um, around the eye, which is quite strong. Stick your nail in, get right in there, go back to the white of the paper, put the bottom eyelid in, bo uh, bottom of the iris in, uh, the bottom eyelid. Uh, stick your nail in and then you get to the corner of the eye 
this is a lovely white area we can use some compressed uh, white pasta later and then we're going to blend that into the cheek now i know she's got freckles uh, there is a way of doing freckles later if you want to do them uh, this uh, it's a ferret tooth you'd have to spot her um again the nose got that lovely soft area in the middle uh, a straight line of pure white in the middle of that loads of freckles corner of the eye uh, coming down like this we'll do some kind of reflective lights this is a bit of a, a highlight there so it's a bit of a shadow coming from that light around the nose <coughs> quite strong and then quite subtle here uh, you can get reflected lights within these shapes you might not see them on the picture but you can put them in and then the middle of the nose is a reflection and then the tip of the nose that ball is the highlight nostril reflected light on the nostril and just a little bit here then we've got the top of the lip top lip nice strong white um, reflected light uh, just under the bottom of the nose then this blends into all one tone slightly slightly darker not a lot slightly lighter there I mean um, slightly darker put the bottom eyelid in the iris again <coughs> uh, top eyelid which is the little bit of light then it goes lighter over this side like that. going into the corner yeah uh, you can just about see where it um, attaches to the cheek bone red belt triangle so we get that highlight coming in from that like that <coughs> And the cheeks slightly darker so we don't make them any, any lighter uh, coming down here uh, reflected light just under the eyebrow the right and now we've got uh, reflected light on the top lip just in the middle muscle the side corners of the mouth bottom lip, two muscles, ah, we got some lovely light just on the bottom lip because that's going away from you and this is where the shadow is coming from under that lip so it's strong on a chin and then it blends into the rest of the features uh, a little bit of light underneath the chin Flatten the forehead again, keep it light on one side slightly. Just looks a little bit lighter there. <coughs> and it blends into a highlight, which is there. Okay, so again, the hair. And move around the picture, don't just stay in one place. Keep moving around. You can see where the lights catch in. The, the jawline. Just about, yeah. Uh, that ear, just a little bit like that, and round the ear to the bottom of it. Ear. So here I'm gonna rub out some of this light in the background to give me a lovely shape around the jaw as well. You still see your, uh, your compressed charcoal underneath. Okay, so this gives you this lovely light texture around the back of the neck, which is what we want to bring out the top of the shoulder. So that lovely curve. 
Okay. Uh, go back to the white <coughs> or oh, the mid tone of your paper. You like? You can have it slightly lighter at the bottom. A bit darker around the top. Oh, the same, it's up to you. That's wearing the top of her head. Like and blend it in. Uh, she's got a, a chubby face, my model. Doesn't matter. We got to her neck. So again, we've got that really strong highlight. There, and the neck. Comes down here, and then this goes slightly darker, and then it goes lighter again. Right. And it blends in. Yeah. Uh, this goes a little bit lighter. And then this goes in the corner slightly. The Adam's apple, and we get the highlight from the other tender in the neck. Okay, this is a little bit darker over this side, and that follows the shoulder of the picture, more or less. Again, you can remove some of these uh, lights in the background. Keep the face lighter than the background. And just have it slightly greyer, like this. So you can keep this lighter like that. against that grey background. Okay, gives that feeling sunlight. Uh, the neck as well, because that's a tendon, it's you're going to, it's going to catch the light like that, and then inside that uh, it's going to catch the light. Little things, yeah, little things like that. Uh, <coughs> side in the forehead as well. It's a bit darker there. Uh, the hair is quite dark as well. You can leave that. Stand back, we'll do some uh, reflections. So I'm going lighter still now, up the nose, uh -huh. centre of the nose. Okay. Bottom the eyelid, let's keep it not as dark. Uh, and then that's a, a lovely kind of straight line there, it's on a cheekbone. <laughs> this is slightly darker, uh, where, where it meets the other side of the forehead. So you're getting that highlight there. Uh, Quickly done. Time away. Ten past. Bags of time. <coughs> We're going to work back into it now with some compressed charcoal. Put the highlight in, not reflecting light, sorry, on that lip. Uh, side of a nostril. Uh, you can put a bit there, side of a face. Uh, nothing too much because you want that shadow. Okay, you need the shadow to be, you can put a bit around the mouth, slightly lighter, say corners of your mouth, just around there, slightly lighter, and same on the top lip, like that. And that uh, curve. Okay. Corners of the mouth. Little areas like that we're going to use uh, white pastel. Yeah. So compressed charcoal again. Pick it up. 
if you want to give a bow and eyes, I can just add some colour with your finger like that over the top. Leave it. Could have given blue eyes as well. Let it dry. Put the nostril in again. So all you can see, corners of the mouth. Like that. All you can see, middle muscle. Okay. Um, iris, pupil, top of the eyelid. Like that. Um, it's a nice dark, just the, uh, which is part of the eyebrow. There we go. Like Iris, top eyelid, nostril. So if I put anything darker now uh, it will come forward so I can do anything so we'll put some of the hair uh, the, the dark shape around the head you can strengthen it just gives you a bit more uh, contrast a bit more depth so it's like things like that um, corners of the uh, okay, so that makes it go forward a bit. Like that. Uh, top lip, slightly darker this, but I don't want to do it too dark. Uh, come around to the corners of the mouth. Like that. A bit too dark. You can always take it off, so. Corners of the mouth. Um, limited space. Curve of the neck. Shoulder. Uh, shadows. Everything kind of blends away. Uh, uh, again. <laughs> you can't put it on and take it off. Blend it like that. <coughs> Keep this lovely. It's lost a bum, but it doesn't matter. My head's way off the picture anyway. Um, I don't really want to have a strong line between the neck and the chin. <coughs> and we're going to use a bit of pastel. So I'll put this uh, shadow in. Just, just draw the line of it. Like that. Don't give her a moustache. <coughs> Sometimes it happens. <coughs> then we've got compressed charcoal. Uh, we could put a bit of that in the right because we've got quite a bit there actually. And then over that, on the bottom eyelid, you can see there's a little bit of light inside the eye and there's a bit on top of the eyelid, which is that. Um, again, top of the eye, half moon shape, bottom eyelid. And then you've got a line, something like that, around the eye, uh, the eyelid. Okay, and then inside this eye, lovely light, there as well, uh, the one in the middle, into the tip of the nose, um, philtrum, philtrum. Like that, uh, nothing too much. Uh, we can have some of this hair catching the light as well. So it won't all be dark. Yeah, you'll be catching some kind of bits of light coming out from the, somewhere else. Uh, like I said before, we can always lighten the background, but if you start doing that, you have to do. You have to do it all over, really. Uh, not all over, but in certain places. Um, 
something like that. Filter them, top of the top lip, lovely light there, corners of the mouth. <laughs> and that's about it really. I've excelled myself again today. This is where the, the neck meets the uh, chin. Lovely highlight there. Something like that. <coughs> right, right. Uh, bit of light in this one. Bottom eyelid. Bottom of the iris, sorry. Stand back. Rounded nose, and you got inside the nose. You just about see it. Okay. Ah, the filter. I put some on the lip as well. So it's got a little bit of highlights on both muscles of the bottom lip. And that's going round the corner in that eye. Okay. Don't do highlights of the eye because you're in a air. And the other night has a bit more light. That's about it. Uh, you could do background tones. Blend, blend, blend them. Yeah. And then that becomes a negative shape at the back of the head. This gives you a bit more depth. Do the same over here. Again, blend it. So you get a flat tone, back of the head, to give you some depth and a bit more light. Okay. Some light there. Shoulder. That's about it, really. Hmm. Happy. It's not her, but it doesn't matter. Could be a sister. <coughs> so I'm back and uh, okay got the question soft fat it's a hard pastel and they are made um, you can get boxes of them it's carol for carol's benefit I've just seen your question hard pastels boxes of them uh the best charcoal, get boxes of them as well. Okay. Instagram. And we use that for the very, very dark bits and the very light bits. You don't need to use um, soft pastel, you know, Sennelli or anything like that. Just use, press on hard and get your, your, uh, your whites white. Um, Brand wise, they are inscribed. That was a Jakarta. A Jakar. Uh, and I get them from the from Grantham's, so um, buy them online. Dead easy. Yeah. We could use the pastel for all these little negatives, can you see? It gives you a really nice interest at the back of the head uh, as well. Okay, oh, you can varnish down as well, don't forget. Um, fix it before you do anything, always fix it. 
put a bit of light just here on that cheek then let it disappear uh, don't overdo it don't overdo it that's it so I'll take the tape off I've done about 55 minutes now nearly an hour so I'll take the tape off uh, <laughs> like I said it's not earth but it could be relation but we're not after the likeness we're just after creating a human being on Sunday or at least like a human being and it's all about the technique yes. uh, it's not about anything else and we can take the technique somewhere else take the tape off good quality masking tape Put the tip, get that from Grantham's as well. Won't come off when it's wet. In fact, it won't come off when it's dry. <laughs> oh, it does. I'm joking. Um, <laughs> off the head. In fact, we're doing pastels at um, Northwich tomorrow night. Not pastel, we gouache. We're doing a gouache at Northwich tomorrow night. Uh, snow, how to paint snow, gouache. That'll be good. And um, there you go, that's a finished subject. Using the charcoal and acrylic technique. Done in an hour, so have a go. Yeah. Print the image off or keep it on your laptop. And just paint from it. Uh, charcoal. Willow charcoal first, always. All right. Because you can rub it out easier. Okay, so I'll see you now. What have we Tuesday? Wednesday. I'm busy. Uh, so it's going to be Thursday for the next class and then Friday for the last one. No, not next to the last one. Uh, the first one next week will be a painting in the style of which will be the last one of this 12. And then we start of another 12. Okay. So I'll put a sign up on the website. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.